I'm Leonardo, Associate Professor at the Language Technology Institute. This is part of the School of Computer Science. Our goal is to build technologies, AI, artificial intelligence technologies, that will be able to understand the subtlety of human behavior, natural behavior happening during human communication. And on the other side is healthcare, and specifically mental health. How can we build technology to help doctors in the assessment, diagnosis, and also the treatment of mental health? The software Multisense tracks your facial expression. You can see 68 points on the face. I'm Fei Fang. I'm an assistant professor in the Institute for Software Research in the School of Computer Science. A lot of my work is around the topic of anti-poaching this kind of coordination, communication with multiple defenders or multiple patrollers. We try to build artificial intelligence-based tools and applications to help mitigate the problem. If you use Qt Network, the number of actions is fixed. I'm an assistant professor of human-computer interaction in the School of Computer Science, and I run the Future Interfaces Group. My specialization is really at the intersection of AI and machine learning, sensors and interfaces. So how do you blend those three ingredients together to make new technologically powered experiences that can make interactions in our life more meaningful, more efficient, more pleasant? What we've created is a sensor board that combines many different sensors. And the idea is that from that one central point, it can sense everything that's happening in the room. When I turn on this microwave, for example, you could see that it's able to detect that the microwave is running, and you could see the signal from the vibrations and the sound. My name is Henny Admoni. I'm an assistant professor in robotics in the School of Computer Science at Carnegie Mellon, and I'm also the director of the Human and Robot Partners Lab. My research is in the area of human-robot interaction. So I study how we can develop robot systems that interact with people and help people do things that they want to do or live better lives. We've programmed it to understand that there is some correlation between the way eye gaze patterns emerge and people's intent in the scenario. One of the key ways that we do this is by understanding how human nonverbal behavior can indicate the kinds of assistance that people need that a robot can provide. Thanks. Carnegie Mellon is an amazing place to do this kind of research because it's so collaborative and so interdisciplinary. The School of Computer Science has seven departments. The fact that I'm surrounded by people who are experts in fields that are different than mine makes my daily life better and lets me extend my knowledge and incorporate new ideas into the research that I do. I really enjoyed here. One of the reasons is that we have a group of super talented students. The final prediction result we get is this prediction heat map. The more red means it has higher risk of being poached. We are going to provide this to the people in conservation sites and they are going to use it to predict future poaching activities. What we do is very exploratory, so every time we start a project, we don't know if it will be good. But as scientists and as explorers, that's the price you pay. You have to venture forth to see if something is good or not. And for every 100 ideas we try, probably 99 will fail, or at least fail in a commercial sense where they'll never be adopted. But that one in 100 is what you're shooting for, where you can have a tangible impact. And many of the lab's projects are being commercialized right now. Some of them have been spun out into startups. A lot of our software is now running on hundreds of millions of devices worldwide. To have this idea that someone could go from not being able to eat food alone to using a robot that can actually help them complete this task and be a little bit more independent and take care of themselves a little bit more successfully, that part gets me really excited. I'm very excited with how AI is moving. It's moving fast, but it's moving towards something that makes dreams that I had make them possible and I think that's the way to think about it is what is the dream, what is the vision you have, CMU is the place to make it happen. Intuitive and social human-robot interaction is happening here. The future of human-AI interaction is happening here.
artificial intelligence for social good is happening here. Multimodal AI for healthcare is happening here.